My name is Mai. I'm currently a PhD candidate at the University of Queensland. The main aim of my research is to understand how risks of prenatal alcohol exposure are perceived by women. My research unpacks women's risk beliefs, judgment, feelings, as well as the wider societal and cultural values that influence how they view or perceive the risk of prenatal alcohol exposure. So the findings of my research have come from two separate studies so far. The first step of my research has involved the construction of the pregnancy alcohol risk perception, or in short, the PARP conceptual model. The second step involved the refinement of the model, where a panel of experts ranging from health professionals, social scientists, alcohol experts, behavioural scientists from Australia and internationally provide their comments to refine the model. There are seven main points that I would like to share. First is multidimensional, that is, individuals think about risk in different ways. Second is emotion. Emotion and risk judgments are closely linked. Thirdly, context. In trying to understand women's risk beliefs, acknowledgement of context or circumstances around alcohol use are important. Do women drink for stress relief after a long day at work or during social functions. Fourthly, negotiations. How do women negotiate the information that they receive about risk? Fifth, risk perceptions are complex. It's closely intertwined with the structural, social, political, and cultural factors. Sixth, uniqueness of risk perception. Given the different factors that have been mentioned, different individuals will have different risk perceptions about alcohol use. Seven, dynamic. Within an individual, their perceptions about prenatal alcohol use can change depending on the circumstances or situations they are in. So this model provides a holistic overview of how women think, believe, or perceive the risks of pregnancy alcohol use and what are the factors that influence their beliefs. This model provides a structure for conversation with women to help support them in their journey, to reduce or abstain from alcohol use during pregnancy. And it also provides a guidance towards the development of health promotional materials. I hope that the model I have developed can be used to inform more effective ways of supporting individuals to be alcohol-free during pregnancy. Mm -hmm.